Today we are going to start moral science of class 5th chapter name is power of speech this story is about eight herd of goats okay after grazing all days all day a herd of goats was running home in the evening ramo the goder was a lazy man who rarely walked along with the herd he was in the habit of sitting somewhere else along the roadside and dozing off so the goat had developed the habit of not bothering them and walking towards home on their own at their usual time there were eight goats in the herd and all of them adored each other they always walked together and took care of each other if ramu came along sometime he was surprised to see the unity of and compassion among his goats that day ramu had again goes up somewhere else and the goat was walking towards home slowly slowly that day it was a winter evening and it was already quite dark so they could not see a deep trench half full of water they were all walking in a straight line all goats were walking in a straight line and two of them fell inside the trench okay two of the goat fell inside the trench it was so deep that they could not pull their way up okay they could not pull them way up the other six could not pull them out because their four arms did not reach out of the depth of the trench okay and there were all was a few of drowning in the dirt muddy water below the two inside the trench one is kale and other one is gore they were crying desperately for help and they are keeping they kept on trying to jump out but each time they leaped up they fell short and crashed against the side of trench or fell deeper into the muddy water the crash against the side hurt them more and more each time their feet and heart were bruised and bullied bl- bloody okay after a few more tries kale and gore were bleeding profusely Okay, the six goats outside looked at their two friends and felt felt very sorry for them. They could not see them bleeding any more, and they knew that there was no way to rescue the two. So, with a heavy heart, they started. They all started telling Kali and Gore that they should stop trying, trying and give up. Let the death come quietly and take you away in a soft wing. We are feeling very sorry that we cannot pull you out of this trench. Now your death is certain. All the goats were saying to them, the two goats, okay, Kali and Gore, we are we are all hard broken. We cannot see you two like this. Please don't hurt yourself more. Let the death come quietly and take you away on its soft wing. We will pray to again meet and be friend in the next life. Who said this word? The oldest member of the ho- herd said this word to Kali and Gore. Even as the six tried to explain them that they should not hurt themselves more, the two kept trying. The two kept trying for a little while more. Okay. After that, Kali took his friend advice and stopped trying. As a result, he sank in the muddy water and died. But Gore kept on trying continuously. He kept throwing himself up and up with all his might, despite it being bruised and bloody. The herd elder repeated his advice for Gore. Gore, don't bloody yourself more, my friend. It hurts us to see you like this, and it also makes us feel guilty that we are not able to help you all, help you both. Please let death come quietly and take you away on its soft wings. Regardless. Gori went on trying. He was trying harder and harder. Okay, and all the six goats were extremely happy that their friend was saved. Gori was saved. Some of them could not hold their tears. Some of them could not hold their tears. Okay, they embraced Gori and started crying. All the seven surviving goats in the huddle and shed some more tears. Then, the herd elder said to Gori. I am glad that you did not take my advice and stop trying. Otherwise, you two would have died like a kali. But I am asking you because I am curious to know. I am curious to know why did you still keep trying to escape when we told you to die quietly? Then Gore shook his head vigorously on one side to eject water from his ear and said, 
As soon as I fell in the trench, muddy water entered my ears and blocked them. I could not hear anything that you were saying on, but I saw all of you looking concerned and thought you were cheering me to cheering me to keep trying and never give up. I could not see all of you so sad, so I was trying harder and harder. Everyone sighed in relief and thanked themselves and God that Gore did not hear anything that they said. It was the power of speech that dissuaded Kale from trying and led led to his death. If he had also not heard what the other said, perhaps he too would have been saved. Okay, students. Now ending ending this chapter over here. Till then, keep learning. Thank you.